Hi guys! I am getting ready to put my makeup on and I just got out of the shower and before I got in the shower I washed my face while I use this clay mask. It is Mango Shea Clay Mask for dry skin. It is amazing. I actually need another one. This is one of my favorite masks and I used all three of my Timeless serums. I will link everything I'm talking about pin it to the top comment and put it in the description box below. Next, I make my own kind of tinted sunscreen with the It Cosmetics CC Cream Your Skin Butt Better. The color that I use is Neutral Tan and this is Sun Prize Mineral Sunscreen. So I mix them together 50-50 in my hand and I apply everything with my hands. I feel like it goes on so much better. So that's the whoop, <laughs> consistency. Just mix it all together like that. This protects my skin and gives it a nice tint and a little bit of coverage. So any additional coverage that I want, I will just use the It Cosmetics CC Cream straight out of the bottle. I've actually gotten some comments or like probably two comments I can't believe you're using your hands. You're so rough on your skin. Well, I don't know, but what I have been treating my skin this way my whole entire life, and there's nothing wrong with massaging your skin at all. It's actually good for your skin. And I'm 51 years old. I've never had any cosmetic procedures, no Botox, no fillers, no nothing in my skin. So maybe you guys should try massaging your skin and I actually found out that my mom, who is 74 years old and has gorgeous skin, does the same thing. We were doing a makeup video together. You can check it out on my channel if you wanna look at it. And she was like rubbing her skin so hard and I'm like, that's exactly how I put my makeup on and how I massage my skin and Maybe we're onto something, you guys. Maybe that is the secret to keeping your skin looking tight and youthful is giving it a good massage. I just wash my hands off because obviously I'm going to have the sunscreen all over my fingers. So now I'm gonna take it straight from the tube and any blemishes or dark spots or anything that I wanna cover up, I just dab with my finger and I'm gonna set it with my Revlon Color Stay Powder. I don't use a lot of powder, but I definitely wanna set anywhere that I am trying to cover. Next, I'm using e.l.f. highlight and I use only the tan side. I'm going anywhere that there's darkness I always like to do my foundation straight out of the shower because my skin is the most moisturized and my makeup goes on so much better without looking dry. So I'm applying this anywhere that there's darkness that I want to bring forward on my skin. This is very moisturizing and great for aging skin. And you wanna bring the brightness towards the center of your face. Next, my all-time favorite Garnier Anti-Dark Circle Roller. Again, this is a super thin consistency. And I use 
use this as an eyelid primer. And I do not put powder around my eyes. This is also nice because you can touch up throughout the day if you need to. And I even use this on a scar that I have on my neck. I had a pro disc disc replacement. I don't know if you can see that right there. And they go through the front to get to my spine. Next, I'm using Physician's Formula Bronzer. Since I have been doing my eyelash extensions at home, if you can see them, I have saved so much time in my life, I cannot even tell you. I get ready so much faster. And I also um, tint my eyebrows. I will link that below what I use, and that also helps me get ready so much faster as well. I always do my jawline and under my neck, it chisels out your jaw and any sagging under there it helps camouflage that. Now I'm using the Revlon Translucent Powder and going, cutting right from the corner of my mouth up. And then I go in just a little bit which helps blend and keep it brighter towards my mouth in that area and in the center of my eyes like that. So all the brightness stays towards the center. Then I take a clean fluffy brush and just blend that in. If you want, if your skin is more oily, you can let that bake for a little while. using Hot Mama for blush. This is a gorgeous color. It's kind of like a pink and peach all in one. And it has some shimmer to it, not sparkle, but shimmer, which is really gorgeous. My chest is kind of peeling. And I like to put some on my nose. This is e.l.f. Highlighter in Moonlight Pearls, basically the only highlight that I usually use. Super cheap. If you guys buy this, make sure that you take like a butter knife and scrape the hard coating off because I've had people think that it doesn't work. So I figured that out for myself when I was like, there's got to be a reason why it's not working. Just scrape off the top and then you have the best highlighter ever. It gives such a nice glow. Now, depending on your skin tone, you may need to get a color that is darker or lighter. This one just works perfectly for me. I'm gonna use the same bronzer on my eyes. I love this brush. It's kind of like an angled brush, but it's also fluffy. So it does the blending and applying so nicely. I am all about getting this done quick. I don't like to sit there and blend forever. I'm going to fill in my eyebrows a little bit with micro brow and then I'm going to switch over 
into the other room and I will finish doing my eyes for you. Now I am setting my brows with hairspray. This is Dove hairspray in a different container. And I just comb them into place. This keeps them set and helps them look much more natural. And I'm going to apply this Bella Jade setting spray. Now I'm going to go into the other room and I will finish up my eyes and my lips. For lips, I'm using Revlon Color Stay Over Time. Always make sure you use the color stay on super exfoliated lips. And then I let that coat dry. For eyes, I'm using this Tartlet in Bloom palette. And I'm going over to this dark color right there. Activist. I saw it without my glasses. <laughs> so I'm just doing the outer corners of my eyes and just going a little bit in the crease and this will lift the eye stay out in the outer corner and just blend then I'm using this shimmer color right there uh, funny girl is the name of it. I'm going on the inner part of my lid and in the inner corner and the rest I'm just dragging under my eyebrow. See how that just wakes up my eyes? I'm going to add some Forever Pink on my lips to give it a little bit of depth. And it gives it like that shiny wet look. Now I'm going to use this winged liner brush. This is a Sigma E06 and I'm going to spray it with setting spray. And I'm dipping it in the darkest color here and using this as an eyeliner. Oh no, I just got it on my lid. Just wipe that off, reapply, good as new. It is like rush hour right now. I'm so sorry for all of the cars, the noise. Now I'm going to wing it out a little. And that's it. You see how quick that is now that I have my 
lashes and eyebrows are darker. Oh, I'll show you what I used on my brows. It's this Thousand Hour um, Lash and Brow Dye, and this is in the color Natural Black. I just put it, comb it onto my eyebrows for like six minutes, wipe it off with a wet cotton pad, and done. They stay nice and dark and they look so much thicker. Now I'm going to put the gloss side of the lip color. And that's it. I'm gonna be posting a video on how I do my hair also and make it look like straighter and thick and from beginning to end all the products that I use and how I styled it. If you want to check that out it will be on my channel or I'm not sure if I will post this one first so just click the little bell when you subscribe. Next to that you click the little bell you'll be notified of all of my videos. If you guys like this video give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!